this video, I'm going to show you how to properly ground and search protect the WTM radios. We're going to use the Transector DC Defender for this example. Now, the WTM radios have got built-in search protection on the DC line, but they're internal to the radio. A lot of times, people will put an external surge suppressor near the radio, and this will protect the radio from surges, and in the case of a lightning strike, the surge arrestor may burn out. That can be easily replaced rather than having to take the radio down and swap it out for a new radio. What I'm going to do is show you how to properly terminate the cables into the DC Defender. Go. Once we've installed our ground wire, we're now going to hook in our DC power wire. Now I've already pre-terminated this with the green DC connector, and if you're not familiar how to do it, I've made a video showing that. So take a look at how to put the DC connector on the wire. We're going to install this on the radio, put on our weatherproof boot, and tighten it down. Now this DC wire is going to connect into our surge arrestor. What I'm going to walk you through are the steps of how far to strip this back and how to properly terminate into the DC Defender surge arrestor. The first step is to strip back three inches of insulation, this black jacket, from our DC power wire. So I've got out my ruler and I've measured back uh, three inches. And when you score it around here, you just want to cut the outer jacket and bend this a few times and that will expose the inner braid. Once the inner braid is exposed, one longitudinal cut along the length of the jacket will help us remove this. Once the outer jacket is removed, we're going to pull back and we're going to leave about one inch of our outer braid exposed and we're going to cut the rest of this away. Once the braid is removed, we're going to now take and cut our 16 gauge ground wire to about the same length. So about one inch of that will be exposed. Now what we're going to do is fold all of this backwards over the jacket of the cable. So it's pulled back. We'll clean this up a little bit. Next step is to remove the foil. Once this is pulled back, we're going to put a piece of heat shrink tubing over the ends of these wires to hold them down tight. And what we want to have is our braid and our ground wire exposed about three quarters of an inch. So I'll get my ruler out here. So about three quarters inch exposed. And now I'm going to shrink this down with my heat gun. Once the heat shrink is shrunk down, we're now going to install our ground onto this ground screw here. So we want to make sure that it is in the channel and we will put this retaining tab over the top. Okay, now we've properly terminated our ground into the chassis of our lightning arrestor. So you can see that the ground and braiding has been clamped down here. The next step is to take our DC power leads and we're gonna cut those to length. They're gonna fit through these screw down terminals. I'm gonna give ourselves a little bit of extra slack here and I will cut them to the right length. We'll trim those to the top of the connector. And now we're gonna strip back the insulation. Once we strip back the DC conductors, we're going to insert those into our surge arrestor. You'll notice there's a plus and a minus. In our case, we've used the gray wire for the minus and the blue wire for the plus. So we're going to insert those under the screw terminal. We'll tighten these down. So that completes our DC power wire that feeds the radio. The next side we're going to do is our DC run that goes down the tower into our equipment shelter to the power supply. 
So we're going to connect this DC line up next. Go. Now that we've installed all the components, I'm going to walk you through and show you exactly what we've done. The first step again was to connect up our DC ground wire to the ground stud on the WTM radio. We also installed our DC power wire into the power port of the radio. We're going to follow these cables down and we'll notice here the DC ground wire connects into our system ground bus bar. We've also got a second ground wire coming back up to our surge arrestor, so the chassis of that has been grounded. There's also the ground wire that goes down to our earth ground down the side of the tower. Now our DC power wire, you'll notice here under this clamp, this is where our braid is. And this is what is grounding the cable to the earth ground to the chassis of our surge arrestor. Now we've elected to use blue for our positive and gray for negative. So as you put in your uh, two conductors into the terminals here, you want to pay attention. They're labeled positive and negative. Same thing on this side, on the third side, the positive and the negative. Once you've uh, connected everything, tightened it down, the last step is to put on the cover. And that completes the installation for our DC surge protection and lightning protection for the WTM radios.